In some of my recent videos, I showed you this website here called Basic Pitch. And it's developed by Spotify. It's an open source um, tool to uh, convert audio to MIDI. Uh, it works completely client side with JavaScript, so you don't have to upload anything. And the only drawback was that you had to use the browser and that it was pretty slow because it was processing the JavaScript. So someone took this library, because it's open source, of course, and developed some kind of native VST plugin you can use in any DAW. Uh, it's called Neural Node, and the developer is called Damien, Damien Ronson. I put a link in the description below so you can download this. It's completely free, like I said. Um, VST3, AU, and standalone also, which is nice. Um, yeah, I want to show you this, how this looks like here in Bitwig Studio. So to test this, we have to use some kind of audio file. So maybe I use here some kind of piano sample. So maybe we start with this here. We already know it's in um, G minor here and 174 BPM. So um, it's not a mystery what happens in this file. So here we have this playing. On this audio track, we put now the neural note plugin. And to actually hear something, because when we press play, you can see it's muted. We have to enable here the mute out, disable this. And then you get this audio file in here. We can either press record and then hit play on the transport. Right. And then it automatically here, um, yeah, recognizes the pitches or the notes in there. And we have some knobs on the left side here where we can refine the result. And you can see it's blazing fast, actually. You can see this in real time while you are tweaking here, what's happening. So we have the note sensibility. If you pull this down, of course, it doesn't recognize any note at all because the sensitivity is zero. But you can slowly pull this up and you get more and more uh, notes there. And then we have the split sensibility here, which basically means the sensitivity for splitting into individual notes. So when you know in here, there are probably just some notes, some single notes held down. So right, there's no individual small little notes playing. You can pull this down. So we have single longer notes um, versus if you pull this all the way up, we have a lot of small little notes, which is not the reality. So we pull this all the way down. And then we have the minimal note duration. So the minimal length of a note. Um, you can see here, 35 milliseconds should be the, the, the shortest note. And uh, that's pretty long. So we can leave it at that. Then we have a scale quantize here. Uh, it's more or less like, uh, the range is more or less like a low cut and a high, high cut. So you can exclude your certain ranges, right? If you know there's a lot of rumble maybe in the or noises inside of the audio sample and you want to cut this away so it's not recognized as notes. So you can, you know, s shorten the range basically or narrow down the range here to a certain degree. Maybe it's something between C3 and C5, I don't know. Um, and then we can also narrow down to a scale. If you know exactly this is here, we know here it's in G minor, so we can use here, uh, this is G, yeah, it's, it's G and minor. And then you can remove also some falsely recognized notes from the results because we already know it's in G minor. Uh, so this helps sometimes. Uh, if you don't know this, then just leave it at C chromatic. So we have all the notes in there. Um, and then there's also here a pitch bend mode. So it also recognizes um, bending, which is really nice. And it's also uh, recognizing this pretty nicely. Um, then there's a time quantized note to everything line up with the grid, with 
the, the, the beat crit. At the moment here it's disabled, I don't know why. Uh, what the reason for that is, maybe it's not implemented yet, I have no idea. Um, the big drawback for me is actually the recording feature here. As you can see here, we just hit record in here and then it starts recording inside of the plugin. And then you have to press play on the transport and then you have this gap basically. That's the gap between me pressing record here and hitting play there. And then we get basically here a small little gap we have to offset then later because now when we drag here the MIDI file onto that, it asks if you want if you want to import tempo and time signature. We say no. Uh, but inside of this note file, you can see here the notes actually starting with an offset. So you have to go in there, select everything, and just move it to the beginning, right? So this is a small little drawback of this plugin if you use the record feature. Maybe the developer can implement something to synchronize the record to the playback of the DAW. So when we hit record here, it just waits or is armed. And then we, when you hit play on the transport, then it starts recording. Would be much better, in my opinion. So um, it recognized here this probably. Kind of okay-ish, I would say. Um, we probably have to remove some notes here. Maybe use here um, fully synth. But to get at least all the all the information. And this is probably a note that goes here. This is something we don't need. So we can extract the notes pretty easily from this. And I want to, want to show you the, the, the different rock flow here from... Maybe go for this. It's in here. Uh, neural note. And we just want to drag here the this file into here. We can track this directly here. No, that's, that's not working for some reason. So we have to go here to the file section in Bitwig. And here all the files are listed from the current project. Um, uh, and this is just this file, so we can track this in. And the benefit of this is basically we start exactly here with the file start. Uh, we start also with the media file exactly at the beginning, which is really nice. Then we drag this in here. No. And... So it kind of works nice. Uh, it's sometimes a bit distracted here. You can see it generates sometimes too much, too many notes. But I guess that's, it's it's already pretty hard for a computer to actually recognize this. Um, but for open source, it works pretty nice. And if you need sometimes the uh, the notes from a, from a sample, or from a radio cut or maybe from piano loop like I did here. Uh, I mean, it's for free, it's open source and it kind of works nice. Uh, why not? So I put you the link in the description below. Um, maybe it's helpful to you. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.